I love football, and even though I'm a girl, I probably know as much about the game as most men. watching the latest episode of Gina's Got Game, where I guide girls through the intimidating world of sports. Thanks for watching our series on football. Make sure not to miss a single episode, and please share all of them with a girlfriend. On this episode of Gina's Got Game, I'd like to go over a few key elements of the game. First, the object of a football game which is for one team to score more points than their opponent before time expires. Now, a professional football game is divided into four 15-minute quarters for a total of 60 minutes. But because of things like timeouts, stops and plays, breaks in TV commercials, a football game is closer to two and a half to three hours from beginning to end. Now, here's a football. Because of its shape, it can soar through the air like a torpedo when thrown. And it cradles nicely in your arm, so it's easy to run with. But if you drop it, this same shape makes it unpredictable, causing it to bounce every which way, and it becomes very difficult to pick up. And if this gets wet, it becomes super slippery. These white things here, these are called the laces, and they're real important. They help a football to spiral when thrown, which means to corkscrew through the air. A corkscrew is what keeps the ball on track and gives it accuracy. Without a good spiral, a football won't reach its target. As well, the laces also help control the direction of the ball when kicked by a kicker. The kicker prefers to have the laces out, which means pointing forward. If for some reason the laces are like this, or like this, that can alter the direction of the football, causing it to go off course. Okay, so let's get familiar with the football field. The field of play is 100 yards long, and it's 50 yards wide. You'll notice in the center of the field is the 50-yard line. That's also called midfield. From midfield, the yards count down in both directions, 40, 30, 20, 10, until they reach the goal line, which is the entrance to the scoring areas known as the end zones, and are marked by these orange things called pylons. Now, the end zones are 10 yards deep, so they add an extra 10 yards to each end of the football field. The giant yellow pole at the back of the each end zone, they're called goal posts. And they're used for field goals and extra points. The goal posts are much bigger than they appear on TV. The horizontal bar, also known as the crossbar, is 10 feet off the ground. The vertical posts, which are known as the uprights, are 18 and a half feet apart and stand 30 feet tall. These little guys, they're called hash marks, and they mark one yard increments. I talk a lot about hash marks in my other videos. This white line surrounding the football field, this marks the out of bounds or out of play territory. Make sure you watch my other videos where I talk about offense, defense, touchdowns, penalties, field goals, you name it. Thanks for watching. I love this. I've always wanted to share my passion for football with other girls, and I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Be sure to click on the link below to get to our webpage, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, make sure to share our videos with your friends, and if you have any questions, send them in. So again, thanks for watching, and until next time, see you at the game.